This week's make is for the 1985 movie Summer Rental starring John Candy as an overworked and stressed out air traffic controller who is forced to go on a month long vacation or lose his job after mistaking a fly on the screen for an airplane and almost causing a disaster. When he goes on vacation, the real disasters begin. As the pesky fly on the screen is what causes all the problems, I decided to create a summer rental fly swatter. The fly swatter I picked up came with a flower, and I'm going to get that off somehow. Much of the time, Dave likes to supervise me by sitting over my shoulder on the back of the couch. But because the fly swatter is plastic and that's his favorite, he decided to get up close and personal with it. The flower part came off pretty easy just by pulling on it, but there is this tab here and this is on here a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to plan B it and incorporate it somehow into my design. To cover the fly swatter, I'm using these wooden skill sticks. They were in the craft section at Walmart, and I laid them out on the fly swatter using a total of uh, like 12. And the center one, I had to cut it in half because of that little circle and then I'm going to paint it to look like the summer rental after I glue it on and it dries. And to cut these, I just use a pair of scissors. To glue it down, I'm using some PowerTac industrial grade adhesive. I'd started out by gluing this, putting the glue on the sticks but when I got closer to the bottom, I decided just to put the glue on the fly swatter itself because I don't want the glue overhanging. This is what the fly swatter looks like with the wooden pieces glued down on it. This, from the end of the trailer of Summer Rental, is going to be my inspiration piece for my design on the fly swatter front. It may be a little hard to see, but I did sketch out summer rental on the sticks, and I'm going to paint around what isn't the letters in black, and I'm going to leave the letters as is. This is how it looked when I finished coloring in. I used a black acrylic paint pen. For the Mod Podge, I use the Dollar Tree Matte Mod Podge. I am going to point out I colored in between the slats a little bit with the black pen so it would look more like the siding. And used a little bit of the black here to disguise that, kind of make it look more like a pipe. And a little bit of black down here so it isn't as blue, it doesn't stick out as much. I decided to try to make a fly, so I cut out a piece of black fabric in a slight diagonal, and I'm going to roll it up to make the body of the fly, starting with the bottom end and rolling down there and then gluing it. As it's a little bigger than I want it to be, I'm going to cut it down. For the wings, I just folded a piece of cellophane in half, and then I glued it in and then I cut out like the wing shape and then I tried to draw on with a sharpie. I couldn't. I glued the cellophane to the wadded up piece of black fabric and I put some little red eyes on the front with an, a red acrylic paint pen. I decided to glue the fly into the center where that hole was and I used that uh, power tack glue. I thought it needed something extra because it wasn't showing up well enough on the black, so I used this iridescent glitter glue 
to try to capture the wings and the color of the fly. This is the finished fly swatter with the little fly in the center. On the back, I decided to paint it black. I couldn't find a lobster, so I ended up putting a crab. The lobster would have been to represent them waiting in line for two hours and then the protagonist of the movie, the rich local coming in and taking the lobsters they've been waiting in line for and with their table. Thank you for stopping by and please check out the other participants in today's challenge. The Summer Movie Series Challenge is hosted by the talented and creative Sue at Discovering the Art of Living. Below is a link to check out her channel 